lot of uh, folks have been asking when am I going to start doing videos on Home Manager for NixOS and today is going to be the first out of a video series dedicated to Home Manager and the thing is Home Manager is so large in NixOS that it can be an entire topic by itself so what are we going to do today is we're going to discuss Home Manager and today I'm going to show you one of the ways of how to install it and in follow-up videos I'll show you other ways of installing it etc because as I said as a topic it can be quite interesting so we still haven't reached uh, flakes uh, just yet but we'll still get to that in the future it's a topic I'm still building up to but what is home manager so Home Manager, of course, is a system for managing a user environment using the Next Package Manager. Huh? What does that mean? So, let me give you a scenario here. Now, with NixOS so far, I spent a lot of time on the configuration.nix uh, file, which, of course, allows you to add software, remove software, generally globally. On, you know, for all users on the system and there is a section for sp a specific user but it can be a little bit messy doing it in the configuration file so imagine the scenario now you are rolling out NixOS and you have a couple of machines that have more than one user using them so maybe there's a day shift and a night shift etc and they have different pieces of software how are you going to configure it per user Right, if we just do it in the configuration file and the way I've shown you, uh, it's not really the best way of doing it. So there is a tool called, you guessed it, Home Manager. And Home Ma Manager allows you to make specific configurations uh, per a user on your machine. So what does that mean? Well, it means that A, we can install software specifically for a user in a profile and we can also manage the dot files in the home directory of the user. In English, we can add and remove software, make it user dependent, and uh, we can configure specific applications as well. So if you have specific users moving machines or day and night, etc., you can uh, uh, pre-configure it. So I'm not going to show you today how we're going to manage the dot .files um, yet, but today we're going to cover a more, an important topic is how on earth do you install Home Manager on your machine? Well, there's a couple of ways of installing Home Manager. One of the ways of installing Home Manager is actually as a module on uh, NixOS. So basically what happens is if you install it this way, you configure everything from the uh, NixOS uh, rebuild uh, system, right? Basically very similar to what we've done now, you know, with the configuration.nix file. But there is another way of doing it as well, and it is the standalone installation, which right now is probably the easiest way to get started with. So today I'm gonna to show you the standard installation of Home Manager. And by standard means it uh, is configured its configuration files in a separate location than your normal configuration.nix. But uh, let's get started here. So basically, if you see uh, the link here, the next community docket tab on home manager, NixOS 2305 at the moment. So what we're gonna do, the first thing we need to do is we need to add to this at Nix channel here. So we need to go to Nix channel and we need to copy this uh, command here. So the first step is to add the Nix channel Right, I'm using 2305 because that's my version. The next thing we're going to do is nix dash, uh, nix channel dash dash update. Right, and then what we would do is a nix shell home manager install, just like this. And uh, in this case, you will see uh, it's creating the file. My case, I've really created it, it's recreating it. And basically, when we want to make any changes around home manager we are going to edit this file over here so i'm just going to copy that link and i'm just going to do a minute and we're going to open up this file and in this file right there's under the home packages section here 
I've got a few applications that I've gone ahead and listed already. So let's say I want to in, install an application. And in this case here, um, I need to add the PKGS um, at the moment. So I'm going to do PKGS and like anything else, uh, let's say we're going to add HTOP PKGS and let's say we're going to add Git uh, PKGS and let's say we're going to add um, okay we already have yours installed let's say Libre Wolf etc. Now I'm gonna save this file I'm gonna add exit and what I'm gonna do now is in the past we would have gone and done a rebuild uh, switch but it's a little bit different now we're going to do home dash manager switch I'm going to give it a few seconds and you're going to see what it's going to do it's going to pull on the files and it's going to install these applications but specifically for the gosh user so i'm just going to log out quickly I'm going to log back in and you'll even see here LibreWolf is already installed as well as HTOP and uh, whatever other application I've got. So now basically what we've done is we've installed applications specifically for this user without having to edit the big configuration of the index file. So let me show you that. So let me open up console again and we do sudo uh, Leno etc nixos configuration of nix open this file up and if you look here right you'll see that uh, the other packages are not listed here and they won't be because we're now using the home manager so any other application or stuff I want to install to make changes, I need to go back to my home manager file. And if you install it the way I've shown you here, it will be under .config home manager, home.nix in your uh, home directory. So again, I've reopened it. It talks to me about, this is my username, this is my directory, uh, this is the state of the version I'm using, and uh, these are the packages. And again, like before, if I want to remove something, I just uh, check it out. So I'm going to save a file, exit, and home manager switch. Right, I'm going to log out. I'm going to do that. And of course, LibreWolf is gone. So what does this home manager switch business mean? Well, it's kind of the same in the past. With the configuration of Nix file at boot up, you can roll back to previous uh, configuration or generation. Same thing with Home Manager. So with Home Manager, now I've gone and I've made a change, and I remember, oh, I need the previous config instead. Well, we can do this. We can go Home, Dash Manager, Generations, and you'll see here, it shows me all the generations I've had since I've been working on this file. So this was, uh, this is 16, this is the latest, so let's say we want to roll back to the uh, previous one. All right, so what would we do? Well, we basically, so we're running ID6 now, which is without LibreWolf. Let's say we want to go back to the old one that is, for example, running LibreWolf, which I think it's ID, should be ID5. So I'm going to copy this link I'm going to paste it and at the end I'm going to do for, forward slash activate I'm going to hit enter and guess what you think it's going to do it will activate the previous generation I'll go home manager switch and hit enter I've reverted back to a previous generation so folks, that is uh, enough for now on getting started with a home manager. I hope this helps. And yeah, we in the follow-up video, I'm going to show you more info on how we can start configuring dot files and later on how we can install home manager uh, and integrate it better with our configuration at Nixon. 
As always, thank you for watching. Bye for now.